Hey guys, we're back. Oh my goodness, it's more fire emblem. Excuse me while I turn the volume down a bit. Uh, I know you guys probably can't hear it, because, yeah. Anyways, we're doing part four of the vanilla Let's Play. And yeah. for once, when Carter's playing Fire Emblem, I'm not also playing Fire Emblem. Yeah, because the last time we played this was when, before Animal Crossing was going to be out. So now we're always going to be talking about Animal Crossing, apparently. Mm-hmm. Yeah, now I'm over uh, Fire Emblem. It's like that uh, that one scene in Toy Story. I don't want to play with you anymore. Yes. Except I'm not as lifeless as uh, whatever the kid from Toy Story's name is. Oh yeah, I forgot yeah. about that kid. Yeah. So he's like Jason. 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 J -j -j Jason. Watch our heavy rain let's plays if you haven't. Yeah, that's true. So mm -hmm. uh, this is a uh, vanilla. This is the vanilla Let's Play, so this is the one where I'm trying to play it as normally as possible. Mm -hmm. um, while the other one is going to be the Seth, the Seth only run, mm -hmm. or like the use Seth as much as possible run. God damn it, Ross! Oh, so speaking of uh, Secret Stones, sorry, I need to burp. It's not coming out right now, so if I burp randomly, that's why. So in uh, Fire Emblem Heroes Hell on Facebook. There's this one guy who's getting all of the sprites from Sacred Stones, like all the character sprites, and recreating them in Animal Crossing on shirts and stuff. And it's like, it's, it's, I know it's pixel art, but it's still like really cool. And I really appreciate his dedication. Yeah, he's, he's That's the main really thing. good at that. The main thing is I appreciate the dedication. This? Also, Carter, I figured out how to change the colors so you can make Hector properly. Well, I know how to change the colors. I just want the exact... I wish they had, like, the like, values yeah. of the colors. Because that's what I'm trying to mm -hmm. find. And, like, the Animal Crossing doesn't keep track of that. So. Uh, there's kind of a way. Kind of, but yeah. it's, it's... It requires a lot of work. Mm -hmm. um, but it's still better than nothing. Yeah, that's true. Mm hmm why doesn't this raccoon shut up? You talking about the guy with the butt plug? Yeah, okay, watch our episode 2 of our podcast to understand the butt plug thing. Yeah, we just uh, uploaded that uh, today while, uh, while we're recording this. Yeah, like so. I said before, we record like a whole bunch of stuff all at once. So... Yes. Yeah. Uh... How much do you... Ooh, that is good. Okay. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. You're so good. <laughs> Look at this good boyfriend. Oh, my God. Nobody can hit, apparently. You just kicked me in the Sorry, back. Sorry, I didn't mean to. I have an itch. <laughs> Flo sent me mail. Really? Why did Flo send you mail? Because I just got a new room. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah, one of my villagers did that for me, too. Mm-hmm. So, uh, I didn't really get to explain this mission. I kind of just started it up. So, this is the first mission in the game where you come across uh, monsters for the first time. Like, actual, like, zombies, giant floating eyeballs, and skeletons. They kind of start coming after you. So, this mission really kind of... Um, I got a toilet! I'm gonna take a shit! I forgot about that. So yeah, this mission is very much like, hey, uh, here's some easy XP. Why don't you uh, kill some uh, monsters? And I'm like, thank you, game. That's really considerate of you. You're giving me all this experience. Um, I have to be really careful of who I'm sending out, though, because the moguls, which are the giant eyeballs here, have uh, dark magic, so they could actually Carter, hurt me. It's pooping time. Are you seriously gonna show me this yeah. right now? Oh god. No fuck, that's not you what I'm You have to, to sit do. on the toilet, babe. Okay, I'm sorry, this is actually my first Animal Crossing game. Wow. That was very anticlimactic. It flushes. 
Oh my gosh. So uh, Eden just showed me uh, her char their character taking a poop in uh, Animal Crossing. I took a poop. Yeah, you did it. I did it. <laughs> took a shit. Are you proud? I'm very proud. Proud of the shit you took? Oh, I got a bathroom towel rack. Oh, wait a minute. Can I? Yes. Can't. Please, please, for the love of God, hit. Thank you. Thank you. Gilliam. Hitting with that 73. Good job, Gilliam. Thank you, Gilliam. You're welcome. Your name is not Gilliam. But if I was Gilliam, I'd be saying you're welcome. <laughs> you're welcome. What can I say except your mom gay? Your mom gay? <laughs> your mom gay. I'm gay. I'm gay. I'm not, though. You're, you're a little queer. Well, okay, you don't have to... Technically speaking. You don't know that for sure. Technically um, speaking. Hold on a second. Um, I want to wait on a... So one of the major things that you have to do in this mission is you have to send someone... <clears throat> Nine times out of ten, it's going to be Vanessa, but since Vanessa in my game is a journeyman... Um, oh, my pears are grown. She can't really do anything uh, with this. Uh, so, okay, you kind of have to send someone to fight. Um, you have to send a flyer down to this village at the set, like the bottom left corner of the screen to save uh, Arter's friend. Um, Arter's friend, Loot. Loot. And uh, loot is uh, cool. You're cool. You're cool. No, you're cool. Ugh, I'm trying to do this so I can get Franz some experience. But I don't want Erica getting that badly hurt. I I keep forgetting that I oh. Okay, well I can just kill him with Erica. Um, oh, I have so many trees growing fruit right now. It's so nice. Yeah. Mhm. Mm Ooh, okay, that's important. Um, you're important. You're important. You're important, and I care dearly for you. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> that's positivity at its finest. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I can get Franz some much needed experience. Um, wait, will a mogul. Okay, he's just out of reach of a mogul. But these three skeletons will probably come after him. So, I'm just going to use a Vulnery. Alright. Alright, here's the first one. Comes after him. There we go, Franz. Get some experience. Get him. I got a new emotion! <laughs> you got an emotion? <laughs> I got apologetic. Apologize. I haven't. I don't have that one yet. Yeah. yeah. All right, Franz, taking out these. Jesus, three forty nines in a row that hit. I mean, thank you, Franz. You killed them, but like, at what cost? He got some experience, so that's that is good. All right. Next up, we have a mogul. Come on, man. <sighs> it's okay, I believe you. Oh, an apple tree. <laughs> okay, so... Uh, the beginning of this uh, of this scene. Mm -hmm. uh, then we come across La Rochelle and her La group. Rochelle. So since this is the vanilla Let's Play, I don't Who's know... Who's this camel? Oh, that's Sahara. Okay, yeah, we're playing... Uh, Eden's playing Animal Crossing still. Um, yeah, that's so Sahara. So Sahara gives you uh, floors and uh, rugs. Okay. So you can buy that stuff from her. Uh, but yeah, this scene uh, you come across, you find Larachel and Dazla who are kind of oh, making their way true. over, and uh, they start to make their way downtown, walking. Oh, fast. you don't even get to see the rug? No, you have to buy. You just have to buy it. It's kind of bullshit. So, I wouldn't really recommend it. I just bought a large rug. If you buy a number of them, then she'll give you, um, mm. she'll
She'll give you something. I can't remember yeah, what. She I gives you like tickets. tickets. I got a yellow stripes rug. I want to buy all her rugs. Alright. Order. Boom. Kill him. Kill him. Yeah. Kill him with that fire magic. Um. Alright, Naomi. Let's get you some some sort of attack here. Do something. A bright pink uh, shaman is really weird to see mm -hmm. in this game. Wait, is that what Laura Shell is? No, oh. that's what Naomi is. Oh. Naomi is the bright pink haired girl. But she is, for some reason, a shaman in this. I'm gonna get mysterious mm. wallpaper for free. Damn. If only I had, um... If I brought Calm with me, I could have stolen that Vulnery. So what is Lara Shell? Lara Shell in a uh, normal game is supposed to be a troubadour. Okay. Um, which is basically someone who... I know what a troubadour is. Yeah. Thank you, Erica, for the crit. What a snowflake rug. Seems a little out of season. Mm-hmm. But, yeah. I never really use troubadours. I don't really see the point. Although, like, they do actually have some uses. It's just that I never... I try to avoid getting my characters hurt as much as possible, so I never really find a use for them. So what's Larishal in this? Uh, she, was a, she was a a mage. Oh, she's a mage? Yeah. In so, Heroes, she's a mage. Oh, that's strange. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she's a mage. In Heroes, she should be on horseback. She might be a mage on horseback. Yeah. I don't know. I'm pretty sure she's a magic user, though. Yeah, the magic user, that makes sense. But... Yeah. All right, come on, Arter, get that experience. Oh, we got a whole bunch of uh, zambos coming in from the from the north. Not the zambos. Gotta get those zambonis out of here. That's a hockey joke. Remember, like when the NHL was a thing, and that zamboni driver from Toronto, like destroy Toronto. What? Those weren't the words I was looking for. Oh, there's the money. Um, there was a game between uh, the Leafs and the Carolina Hurricanes in Toronto, and like, if you need a, ba a backup goalie, so like, each team will have a backup goalie, and then a third goalie will come to the game. Yeah. And the third goalie is just for either team. And the, the game was in Toronto, and the third goalie was a Zamboni driver from Toronto, and Carolina's uh, second goalie had to go out, so, like, he was out of the game, so they got this Toronto guy in, and he saved, like, a whole bunch of shots, and everyone was just super impressed at this, because normally the third goalie is just, like, a random guy. Yeah. And, like... This guy actually, like, has hockey experience, <laughs> and he did better than, like, either of Carolina's real goalies. Wow. Yeah. So, uh, Lutz, who is usually a mage in, uh, the original game, in this one she is a knight, so she's got, like, ten strength and ten defense, so she is a physical tank. Uh, she has axe fair, so if I change her into a general, she'll be amazing with an axe. And she has spur defense, which is adjacent allies take minus four physical damage. So I could actually probably just send her out here and she'll clean house. I might use her over Mulder, because both her and Mulder are knights in this. Mm -hmm. So. Jorge Carter. Porque. Um. Come on, Vanessa, don't miss this. Thank you. Thank you, Vanessa. 
Oh, can I rant about something with Animal Crossing? Uh, sure. So, Carter and I were playing Animal Crossing the other night, and he was on my island, and I ran into a wisp, and I got four of his five pieces, and then there was this one fifth fucking piece that I couldn't find on my screen, but sure enough, it was on Carter's screen, and I couldn't get the fifth piece, and what the fuck? That's yeah, that was, that was really weird. Yeah, it was frustrating, like, I just wanted the fucking piece for a wisp so he could go back to normal. And I wonder what Wisp will give you, too. Yeah. Like, that's... That's what I was wondering. Mm -hmm. uh, what do we have here? This Zambo... Hmm. Zambo My can't pockets move. are full already. Ba, 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 ba. I don't know why I'm singing the music because nobody can probably hear it. So Every time sweet. I try to do the. What's it called? Oh. I might train Vanessa in this. Depends on if she's actually gonna be useful. Come on, Vanessa. Come on, Vanessa! Fucking hell. Because I can turn her into a berserker. If she be can become a berserker, then, like, sure. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that. But she is not working me with me right now. Did I mention how much I love my friends? What, what happened? Oh, just in general. Like, every time they come to my island, it's such, like, a, a nice little thing. Yeah? Yeah. Yesterday, I had, like, a whole bunch of friends come to my island. And we were just chilling, and I made them... I made them peach chairs, and uh, and my one friend left a really nice message on my board, and it was just it was just nice. Yeah, that was actually really adorable. <laughs> yeah, I feel like every time like my friends come to my island, it's always like really nice. Yeah, that's one of those things I really love about Animal Crossing. Mm -hmm. Um, so there's only three enemies left in the field. Let's see. Hit with a twenty-four. Uh, god damn it, Vanessa! You need to learn to dodge. Did Vanessa die or no? Okay, good. I'm not paying attention clearly. You are clearly not paying attention, but loot was not able to hit something. God what damn the it, fuck loot. loot! God damn it, loot! I'm trying to figure out which characters are gonna be the ones that I'm gonna like fully support. Like Ross. Uh, Ross is kind of a given, because mm -hmm. Ross just has amazing stats regardless. And he's also a Wyvern Rider. Wyvern Riders this early in the game is really good. Mm -hmm. um, um, let me see how Erica would do against this guy. Um, hmm. What does he have? Fetid Claw. What is this skill? Oh shit, he's got Renewal. That's interesting. Alright, I'm just gonna have gonna have everyone hold the line, I'm gonna have everyone move up. Moving on up to the east side. To the deluxe apartment in the sky. Moving on up. Moving on up to the east side. To the deluxe apartment <laughs> in the sky. I'm blanking on what that song is. Uh, oh shit! Went after loot instead. Oh, oh! loot! Crit with a two. Mmm. I know who I'm using. It's the theme of the Jeffersons. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's something we should watch. The Jeffersons? Yeah. And then Lara Shell gets to the field a little too late. Lara Shell. Yeah. Why is my duck Naruto running? Oh yeah, you're coming across the same problem that I had. God damn it, you animal! Stop Naruto running! I th I think the duck's trying to be an airplane though, which is a little more understandable. Yeah. But like, why do they Naruto run? I am stocking up on Elysian whips, and I don't know how. Ooh, kinky. Stop it. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, there's a skeleton for sale. Uh, 
Okay, so... Um, beacon bow. I still don't have anybody who can use a bow. Which is really, really stupid. Um, we'll have... Ross trade a slim lance to loot. And a molder trade... Uh, sure. Trade a drake. Oh, she can't even use that yet. Fucking hell. I keep forgetting that Mulder has a higher rank than everyone else. Um, although, Franz can now use swords, like higher level swords. Um, a lot of lances and axes in this, in this playthrough. Here, let's save here, and I'll show you guys a little bit of what the next chapter has to offer before we uh, before we uh, save it up here. So at this point in the story, we are heading like directly into Grado territory, the main enemy's like place, and this is where we come across Joshua, who is a wandering Myrmidon. Uh, who kind of likes to gamble, likes to... Oh, I know him. Yeah, you'll, you should recognize him. Yeah. Um, he's actually very, very important to the story. Uh, something I will not spoil here. Um, oh, but yeah, yeah, he's like a traveling... He's important to Erica's story, I'll say that. Okay. Um, but yeah, he, he's kind of a gambler. Um, and then there's also this uh, woman named Natasha, who is a, uh, a cleric of Grotto. And uh, they kind of have this little meeting here, and this is important because, uh, oh, that meeting is kind of important because the two of them kind of just, like, get to know each other and, like, they know of each other's presence on oh, the battlefield now. Cormeg, right? Yep, there's Cormeg on the left. He is a uh, part of Grotto. So, he is one of the main uh, enemies. I know him. And then, so yeah, Sarah. talk about him a lot. Cormeg? Yeah. Well, not a lot. You, like, mentioned his name in passing. Are like, you fucking kidding me? You have to go right into battle? <laughs> okay. Fucking hell. I guess I'm just making an army of wyvern riders now. <laughs> <laughs> That's three wyvern riders that I've gotten. Sounds like the last time I played uh, Three Houses with Golden Deer. Holy shit, her stats are amazing. Ooh. She's got high speed and high defense. Her res is terrible, but that's 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 pretty common for a Riven, Riven Rider. And pretty good strength, too. She also has Ignis, which is really good. Mm. And she's got a Steel Lance. She's got D and Lance. But literally three... Look at this. Three mm. Wyvern Riders on the field. Yep. Oh, my God. And Sar, who is the main leader, is a mogul, who is a evil floating eyeball. Um, he's got Amaterasu, allies within two tiles, work up 20% HP each turn, and focus, plus 10 critical if there are no allies within three tiles. Uh, nine times out of ten, the enemy will just sit here, but I was hoping he was going to be a knight or something that was not... That could not hit me from two squares away, because that might be a little tough. I believe in you. Uh, now, I'm not going to be able to see what Joshua is until I start the mission, and I'm probably going to be saving here. Um, let me just uh, get my units together before that happens. So we are. I love their chibi sprites. Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. they're like, what? Oh. So, loot. I'm going to train Ross, obviously. I'm training Franz. Um, do I want to train Ardor? What does he have here? Duelist Blow, plus 30 of Void. Um, Gilliam, I kind of need. Garcia, I need. I don't really need Naomi. Um, is there a lot of sword users on the map? There's a lot of bow users. There is not. There's only one sword user. And yeah, there are a lot of bow users. That makes me nervous. Yep. That makes me nervous too, because I have three wyvern riders. Yeah. As um, someone who's uh, pretty much played the golden deer route and hasn't memorized... Uh, who pretty much has the golden deer route memorized. I have played it many times, is what I'm saying. That makes me nervous. 
Um, so I am going to keep Molder and Naomi off the field for this one. Uh, obviously, I'm keeping Seth and Colm off the field too. So I'm, the people I'm bringing in, there's Erica, uh, which is obvious. Um, actually, wait a minute. There's an armory here. Can I buy Volneries? I still can't buy Volneries. God damn it. Why can't you buy them? Uh, the game expects you to have Mulder here at this point, oh, and okay. Natasha is also a cleric in the oh. original game. So they're expecting okay. you to have someone who can heal, and I don't. <laughs> so... Well, fuck. Yeah, I was hoping I could buy Volneries at some point. Still can't. So well, every move I make is going to matter here. <laughs> Um, okay. And my only sword user is Franz. <laughs> um. Well, good. So, I'm gonna give his, I'm only gonna give him the sword stuff, because he's the only one that can use swords right now. Um, okay. Gilliam's got that. Ross. Okay. This one's going to Erica. I've got one Vulnery, and I've got Antitoxin, which I don't think I'm going to need right now. Hmm. We're going to take the Dragon Spear, give it to Loot in case she gets to C rank with that. And I think that is... Hmm. I think that is all that we can do right now. I'm kind of strapped for uh, everything. So let me just check the map here, check my formation. Um, we're going to have... Franz is going to be up front because there's, I know there's going to be enemies up here that he's going to have to deal with. Um, Gilliam can come up the left side and I'll give Garcia with him. I'll put... Mm. Oh god, the bows are really worrying me. I'm trying to think of how I can do this without getting all of my bow units like killed. Your bow units? No, sorry. Uh, my. Uh, that's another thing I don't have is I I have a lot of lance, axe, and like mages, but I don't have any like sword users. I don't have any bow users. Mm. And it's just like that is. That sounds frustrating. Yeah. Because they kind of optimize like certain parts of the game where it's to have uh, certain types of enemies mm -hmm. uh, in certain spots. So at the beginning of the game, there's a lot of axe units because it assumes that your first character is going to be Erica, who has a sword. Yeah. So stuff like that. All right. I've saved like four times. Okay, guys. Uh, next time we start this part, it's going to be... Uh, it's chapter gonna five. Be May. It's gonna be May.